Hello everybody, it is Emery48 here and welcome back to another Food Friday. We have another restaurant review. This one is going to be Wendy's. Uh, we're going to start a two-part uh, series, I guess. is two parts really a series, uh, but two parts onto Wendy's. The first part, just like Burger King, is going to be the non-burger meals at Wendy's. So we start with a couple chicken sandwiches and I hope you enjoy. All right, we're here using the car again for Wendy's. We have a chicken, it's a hot and honey chicken sandwich. Um, it looks messy, which is fine, but for car eats, it's tough. Here it is, it's smaller than most of the Burger King things. The Burger King things were massive. Mm. First bite is good. Chicken, nice. Juicy, tender. Bun seems alright. I mean, it's a little smushed. It's not very uh, inflated. There's some good crisp from whatever this is, and some bacon. It's a good combo. It's a pickle. But it's not. They did something to it. Make it crispy. I don't know what. But it's good. Good amount of kick. It is a bit messy. Well, that's all right. I'll be able to finish the rest of it inside where I can be a little bit messier. First side that we chose was obviously going to be fries. Definitely better than Burger King. On the salt level of McDonald's and flavor level, but more of the thickness of Burger King. So it's really about where you like your thickness here for me. Because it's very comparable to a McDonald's fry. Now the Frosty, um, they only had strawberry today, which is disappointing, but I was going to try it at some point anyway. not that good. It's an alright milkshake, but the strawberry is very fake. And I think one thing that goes pretty true among all of my videos, whether it's fake fruit flavor, like strawberry, mostly strawberry, or fake cheese flavor, I'm not the biggest fan. Um, the chicken was really good. We'll put that at an 8. I think that was a really good dish. The chicken was good, the other toppings were good, the sauce was good, and there was good spice. So that gets an 8. The fries, I think the fries are good. I don't think they're as good as the chicken, so they'll get a 7. And the strawberry frosty wasn't the best, so it will get a 5. There's worse desserts out there. There's faker strawberries out there. It was a good milkshake, so it will get a 5. Good milkshake in terms of texture and feel. It was weird that I didn't get a lid. They didn't have a lid for the size of cup that they gave me, so that was unfortunate. The customer base that was there today is one of the dumbest customer bases I've ever seen. Uh, so we'll see if that keeps up to see if Wendy's can be the dumbest customer base out of all of them. Because that would be an impressive accolade. Uh, one thing I did learn today was that it was established in 1969. So that's a little plus one for Wendy's. Alright, we're back in the car with another chicken sandwich. Uh, this time not spicy. Uh, and it's going to be the cheddar cheese doesn't look the best from the first look but cheddar bacon we've got some more crispies again i think this time onion i liked the crispy last time so that's a good good touch mm. 
I got a bite just of chicken. It was sticking out a bit. That chicken's really nice. I didn't realize how good it was yesterday when I ate it with the rest of the components. It's better than I thought. Hmm. I like the bacon. It's not overpowering. The bacon doesn't even give all that much of a crunch. It's the, uh, it's the crispy onions that give more of the crunch to the sandwich. Mmm. That's a really good chicken sandwich. I'm gonna give that a nine. That was delicious. We've got a Frosty again. It's called the original Frosty, I guess. Does Wendy's not have vanilla? This trial's not the most efficient, but the chocolate Frosty is good. We're gonna dip the fries in the Frosty to test it out. It is satisfying. I'm not gonna rate that part of it because it's just good. I mean, salty plus chocolate is good. Um, Frosty's all right. There's definitely better milkshakes out there in the fast food world. I'll give the, the chocolate a seven. So the Frosties don't have a good overall. I swear that they would have a vanilla, but they don't. Or maybe it's just my restaurant doesn't have vanilla. So that's unfortunate. Let me know down in the comments below because I feel like most places that do milkshakes would have vanilla, but I guess not Wendy's. All right, today we have the last like specialty chicken sandwich, I believe, unless the Dave's thing is uh, chicken. I don't really know. It's the Asiago sounds fancy uh, but it's basically chicken bacon ranch it's really good the bacon lets it down a little bit honestly but I've been really impressed by the uh, chicken that has been in the Wendy's sandwiches as of late. I think this is going to stay on par with the other chicken sandwiches and get another eight. Um, there's not been many faults with the Wendy's chicken sandwich. I may be uh, slowly becoming a Wendy's fan. Uh, the only thing so far that's really let them down is the Frosties. Um, but other than that, everything I've had so far is really good. All right, we're actually here at home today. Uh, got a day off, so I went to Wendy's to try and get some stuff that probably is a bit messier uh, to do in the car, to do at home where I can have a table. Uh, so we've got a strawberry summer salad with some, looks like some chicken in here. Uh, we've got a baked potato with bacon and cheese. Uh, the salad comes with candied almonds and some dressing. It's very cool. Champagne, apparently. The baked potato comes with some light sour cream and some buttery spread. I don't know why it's buttery spread and not just butter spread, but hey. Um, I went to one by my local, like by my house, instead of by work, and Cashiers are much nicer here, so that's fun. Um, they didn't look as peeved when I came in the room to order food. I apparently also got the last baked potato for the day. Um, I did not realize it was that hot of a seller that they actually sell out of the baked potatoes. I thought it was kind of a rogue thing on the menu. 
uh, that they would be surprised to have to make. Maybe that's just because of my experience at the other Wendy's where they were annoyed to have to make anything. So, that could be it. Shouldn't have poured the dressing before I opened this because it's now harder to pour with dressing on my hands. But, it is what it is. I like the summer salad too. I mean, it looks good. I get to try the grilled chicken, which is nice. Um, I always like trying everywhere's different kinds of chicken because you've got. Well, this place has classic and. No, it has classic and spicy, that's what it is. So it's crispy and grilled are the two options. We'll try the grilled chicken. Which is really nice. The chicken here at Wendy's is actually really good. Um, I wasn't expecting it. Got some bacon. That's good bacon. A little crisp to it. The bacon I had in the sandwich the other day, not as good. It was soggy. Hmm. Nice fresh strawberries. And the lettuce is good. That's a dang good salad. Especially for fast food salads. Um, I feel like you won't see much better than that. The chicken at Wendy's overall has been, in my opinion, comparable if not better than Chick-fil-A, which I never thought I'd say. Uh, we have our bacon cheese baked potato. I'm going to try it first without the sour cream and the butter. I don't know if I'm even going to need it because this looks like there's a lot going on anyway. Mm. That is really good. A good baked potato is always nice. Um, I mean, that's something you can't really fake either. You can't have, like, a bad potato and make a good baked potato. So that's always a good sign. Could use a little butter, which is fine, but they gave me butter spread, so I'm not going to be annoyed about that one. That might be one of the best side dishes I've had at any fast food restaurant. That's definitely gonna get a nine. I think the salad's gonna get a seven purely because it's a salad. The chicken and the ingredients are good. If it was put into a sandwich, it'd probably be an eight. Now, we got the desserts today as well to try. So we have the chocolate chunk cookie. Mmm. That's so soft. It's so good. Oh yeah. Why have I not gone to Wendy's before? What the heck? That's a banging cookie. That's getting a nine. We've got the oatmeal bar. Or the oatmeal side. Now I eat oatmeal a lot, so I'm not opposed to oatmeal. It's okay. That's more like a five. Not the best thing. But it doesn't feel the most that healthy. And if I'm going to eat oatmeal, I got to feel like it's healthy to like make up for the fact that it's oatmeal. And we have a sugar cookie. Mm. That's a very nice sugar cookie. Sugar cookie. Dang. 
Yeah, it was very sweet. Um, had good flavor. I'm not gonna give it a nine because chocolate chip is still my favorite kind of cookie. And when it's a good chocolate chip cookie, it's definitely better than a sugar cookie. But I think it earns an eight. All around, Wendy's has really impressed me so far. It has been much better than I thought it was going to be. All right, we've got the last non-burger thing. So the last thing for this video, I'm not gonna do more of the salads because that's kind of useless. They're all pretty much the same. I got to try the grilled chicken, which was kind of the most important thing from that salad, honestly. We've got, I mean, it looks empty, but we've got nuggets. Good nugget, good flavor. I like it. I got honey mustard sauce. So that's my favorite uh, sauce that they have. They didn't have sweet and sour sauce, which is unfortunate, but chicken's still really good with honey mustard. Hmm. Oh yeah. Really nice nuggets. Just got a quality flavor. Um, now we can't just try the nuggets. We got to try the spicy nuggets. See if they're good. They're not as tender. There is a nice kick to it a little bit, but. They feel thinner if there's less chicken, which is odd. I don't know if they're made different than regular nuggets. Um, but those are definitely not as good as the nuggets themselves. And the last side dish really to try is the Baconator Fries. Uh, which actually look pretty simple, honestly. I was hoping the bacon would be, like, cut up. But it's fries with cheese and bacon. The presentation is disappointing, but it tastes great. So I have no complaints about this as a side. I mean, it tastes amazing. I think this is going to get a 9 for the side. The Baconator. Uh, cheese fries. Mmm. The bacon is so good. We'll give... The regular nuggets an 8. And the spicy nuggets a 6. Those just weren't as good. But still, a lot of really good overall scores. Um, I'll tally them all up. And let you know the final scores when I get home. Uh, but overall, very good scores for Wendy's. So I've tallied up our final average for this video from Wendy's. And the non-burger items at Wendy's get a 7.5, which is a pretty good rating. Uh, there were a few things that definitely brought it down, like the strawberry frosty and the oatmeal bar. Uh, but a lot of the chicken really helped in bringing it up. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Let me know other restaurants you want to see me do in the future. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.